Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. In today's video, you will see how to make spicy chicken pickle that will stay fresh for a year. It's a detailed video with useful tips, so do watch the video until end and make this delicious recipe and enjoy around the year. Hope you like this video. Keep watching. For making chicken pickle, I have taken 1 kg boneless chicken that's chopped into bite sized pieces. Clean and wash it. And then gonna season it with little turmeric powder that's around half a teaspoon and a teaspoon of salt. Mix it well. And then we're gonna leave it to rest for 5 to 10 minutes. Meanwhile, let's prepare the spice powder. For that, roast all the dry spices on a pan. Ingredient details are mentioned on the side. These include 3 green cardamom, 5 cloves, 1 inch cinnamon sticks, 1 teaspoon of fenugreek seeds, 2 tablespoons of coriander seeds, 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds and 1 teaspoon of mustard seeds. Dry roast them until they turn golden. Throughout the roasting process, keep flame on low. Once you see the smoke and spice turn golden, transfer to a plate and allow it to cool down. So let's proceed in preparing the chicken pickle. Add the seasoned chicken into a pan and cook them. Do not add any water as it will release enough moisture and will get cooked in its own juice. Cover and cook for a while. And you will see how much water it released. Need to continue cooking until all water gets evaporated and it turns dry. There shouldn't be any moisture left, so continue cooking. And after around 5 to 10 minutes, you could see it turns dry. So you can keep this aside and proceed with the next step. So into a kadai, add around 100 to 150 ml of oil. Allow it to heat up. And then we're going to add the cooked chicken pieces. Keep flame on medium and we're going to fry them until they turn golden and crispy. If you follow each step correctly, you'll get a perfect chicken pickle. Now continue frying. Now while the chicken is getting fried, let's grind the cool spices. So add into a grinding jar and grind them. Now transfer these spices into a bowl and we also gonna take chilli powder in another bowl. So here I have taken 2 tablespoons of red chilli powder and 2 tablespoons of Kashmiri chilli powder. Back to frying process, you can see the pieces are well fried and turned golden. It's a perfect texture. Do not over fry as it will get too hard. Once it's well fried as you can see here. We are going to transfer it to another container now. After transferring the chicken reduce the flame to lowest. And then into the heated same oil we are going to add around 2 tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. Fry it well until raw smell goes. Ensure the flame needs to be on low. And in just a minute's time you could see ginger garlic paste is fried well. Ensure the flame needs to be kept low throughout the process now. Now to this we are going to add the fried chicken. Add in the fried chicken, give a mix and cook for 1-2 to two minutes more. Now to this we are going to add curry leaves. It's handful of curry leaves. It gives a nice flavor and also enhances the taste of pickle. Now going to add the prepared spice powder that's the chilli powder and the roasted spice mix powder. Give all a good mix and cook the spices for just 1 to 2 minutes more, not more than that. Keep stirring continuously 
and meanwhile we're going to check the seasoning and check the seasoning and add salt at this stage so here i've added two tablespoons of salt it's a pink himalayan salt i'm use give a mix and switch off the flame now allow the pickle to cool completely upon cooling you can see how well the oil has absorbed all these spices as we're going to store it for a longer time a little more oil is required as it acts as a preservative and increases its shelf life one last ingredient that we're going to add up upon cooling down is the lemon juice so here i've added juice from two large lemon remember to add only after pickle cools down add and give a good mix and you could see a delicious chicken pickle is ready look how tempting this looks now transfer this pickle to a glass jar and another very important tip is to allow it to sit for 2 days on room temperature then it's ready for use you may store it in refrigerator and it'll stay fresh for a year have it as your side dish or even as a quick gravy to steam rice just a teaspoon is sufficient hope you like this useful super easy recipe for many more recipes and useful videos stay connected with nishataju see you soon thanks for watching happy cooking bye bye